And this is why a lot of our businesses in turn close so early on because we're making expensive and costly and actually investments into things that we really didn't consider what would be the return on. Hey guys, and we are back. So if you're just coming in, I'm Falash today, the accountability accountant guys, and we are talking about content creation, tax write-off, and now we're about to get into the levels of this. So I'm about to share my screen, guys. According to Harvard, there are five levels of business, right? And so we're about to share that. And then we're going to connect the dots between there's five levels of business in the content creation game, okay? So Harvard Business Review said there are five phases of stages or phases of business. Stage number one is existence. Stage number two is survival. Stage number three is success. Uh oh. Stage number four is takeoff. And stage number five is resource and maturity. Okay. So, right off the bat, so many of you guys dream of being content creators. And the first step of business, as Harvard said, is what? Existence, right? You have to exist. So meaning you have to have your social media rolling. You have to be building a name for yourself. You have to have your TikTok flowing or your Facebook popping, right? You're starting to exist, to show face, right? Here's the issue I'm finding is that during that existing phase of content creation and business building, you guys don't attempt to be as res as resourceful as you're supposed to be trying to basically grab every affiliate link, making sure you have your Amazon storefront up, making sure that whatever you utilize products and stuff that you utilize in your home that you love, that you have your affiliate link there. You don't start there. No, what y'all end up doing right off the bat, y'all trying to mature and you go and instead of testing out multiple products or becoming affiliated with several different brands, guess what you do? You end up skipping multiple steps and then trying to create your brand and you haven't even established a name for yourself. And so for the content creation game, you guys just jump out there. And guess what? You expect with your 1,000 followers, which I've been there, that you're going to get a lot of sales. No, you just need to exist and just create content. Don't worry about what you're making. When you're just starting your business, you have to start building a name, start contacting people, reaching out, trying to get clients and, you know, uh, retain relationships and build relationships and things like that. You need to show that you exist. I'm here. I can serve you. Like, for example, with me, I'm here. I can serve you. I can do your taxes. I can do your bookkeeping. I have to show you guys I'm here. We have to exist. In the existence phase, you should not be spending $15,000 on no coaching. You should not be spending $15,000 on no content creation course. Guess what? And if you did, the IRS will more than likely throw it out. Because during the existing phase, you're only able to write off the first 5000 of your startup expenses or all of your normal business operating expenses. And you're also in the position where you're just learning a new industry. And based on tax law, we are unable to write off the cost associated with acquiring a new career. So this is why I keep saying that a lot of your coaching programs that you guys invest in is not a tax write-off because you're going into a new industry and you cannot write that off. So same goes with content creation and building your business. During the existence phase, when you're trying to build your name, get clients, get some solid grounds, implement processes and systems. This is not the time that you guys go out and invest 15 to 20 something thousand dollars. This is the time when you try to be as resourceful, bootstrapping your way as, as, as high as you possibly can go. And then attempting, especially if you're in the content creation direction, attempting to become affiliated with as many products that you love and admire that you can promote and possibly get sales from. 
But no, you guys want to just jump out there and create a product and you're skipping steps. So during the existing phase, you guys have to be extremely careful because this is the phase where the IRS will more than likely throw out your expenses. How are you going to invest $10,000 in becoming aesthetically looking like an influencer, but your affiliate income is only $200? That's not ordinary and necessary. Is it necessary for you to pay $3,000 to get the It Girl Aesthetics? Or if you would have continued building your business during the existing phase, then guess what? You will end up where you were anyway. So be extremely careful, guys, as you're building these businesses and as you're building these brands and creating content, because a lot of you guys are skipping levels to business and you're jumping right out there making poor investments. And this is why a lot of our businesses in turn close so early on because we're making expensive and costly and actually um, um, investments into things that we really didn't consider what would be the return on. So during the existence phase, guys, you are just supposed to be showing that you're here. Hey, I'm a pretty girl. My I have a thousand followers on Instagram. Can I have your? Can I have an affiliate link to promote to my audience? During that phase, you should not be going out buying everything. No, you should be building a brand, building a name for yourself, building relationships, okay? All righty, so according to Harvard Business Review, the second stage of business is survival, okay? So after you've already gone through the existence phase, you show everybody you're here, you're able to promote their products and services, you're here, your business is able to provide them um, with a service or product, right? The next phase is to continue knocking, jiving and chucking and building the business so you can survive and then eventually maybe start hiring, start investing into some things, Okay. Start putting the systems in place. Start getting relationships with higher and bigger brands during the survival phase. Build the relationships, tighten up your policies, maybe hiring in a manager at that time because you've already done all the legwork in the existence phase. So brands know you're here. Your Instagram, your social followers, your social media followers has increased. So now you're in the midst of survival. Survival means basically you need to pull everything together, all everything that you've done in the existence phase, implement that in the survival phase. But now you're in the next level. So now you need to be reaching out to bigger brands, building bigger relationships, and then investing a little bit to fit the aesthetics or to fit the industry that you're in. You've already made money. Now it's time to really show up and show them you're here so you can get out of the survival phase and get those big contracts. But during the survival phase, the aesthetics may be small, a thousand dollars at IKEA. You know what I mean? So you can get the closet look, or you know, you can get the picture frames and the candles or whatever you're gonna need, right? But then you also need to be able to show the IRS what was the purpose of you getting that aesthetics? How did you invest into those things that are aesthetically pleasing? How did that help your revenue? These are the things you have to show the IRS. Okay. So the third phase of some business, guys, and I didn't realize everything is going dead. And I have a PR at 830, guys. So I have like eight more minutes before I go. Okay. So the third phase of business is success. So remember, we already existed. We showed them, hey, I got a brand. I'm a pretty girl. I'm this, I'm that, or whatever. My business can provide this service. And you just start small, building your name, and you know, start promoting products here and there. Survival phase, you're building, you're reaching out to larger brands. Okay. You've had your first photo shoot. You've gotten the aesthetics, you know, you got the flowers and the candles and the look a little bit, right? You got in the, your makeup class you took so you can look the part, right? Now we're in the success phase because now the girlies and the your your with the, the the guys they follow y'all so they're obsessed right so they're like oh girl what about this product oh hey bro what about this did you hear about this like they're they're you're in the success phase so now you're not a household name like E Kane yet but you're you're getting there right okay so during that phase you can spend a little bit of coins not a lot. Right. But you can spend a little bit of coins. Right. 
you now have bigger contracts. So you can now maybe redesign your whole studio, right? And at that point, it will be considered ordinary and necessary because your growth showed it, your relationship showed it, your brand has grown. So during the success phase, this is where you can show up and show out a little bit. Everything is being pulled together from existence phase to survival phase. And then now we're in the success phase. So now you're going into becoming a household name. And during that phase, yes, you can invest into a more expensive uh, photo shoot. You can invest in having a brand manager and public relations and all of those things. And it will be considered ordinary and necessary at that phase. But if you had all of that and in, in the existence phase and you didn't have a thousand Instagram followers and you didn't even have a brand name or nothing, the IRS would throw that out. But during the third phase of business, what you have on that, the IRS can say, oh, yeah, keep going. Because, yeah, if you, your brand manager might get you more deals. Your PR might get you more relationships and more um, publicity. So you're going to make more money. And more money means more taxes for us. So the IRS is going to, yes, okay, yeah, that's considered ordinary and necessary. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? But if you did all that in existence phase, nope, the IRS would be like, okay, is it normal for a business to not make any money and they have a $10,000 photo shoot? Is it normal for a business that didn't make any money yet to invest in a $3,000 studio? Mm, I think you could have bootstrapped that business a little bit more. So no, we're going to deny those expenses. There's levels to this, guys. Okay, and then let me get ready to go. Nine percent on my my Mac. All right, so let me share this screen again. Let's go back. So we are in phase four, take off. So you about to hit the EK in effect, right? You want to take off, all right? You you in the take off. So with that meaning, you probably get Estee Lauder deals. You're probably getting posted on the shade room. You probably about to get uh seen on loving hip-hop in atlanta or whatever i'm just giving you guys the gist of like you know you probably um have been pitched to be on top uh podcast and brand connections and you're going on what they say brand trips and all of that stuff right in the takeoff phase and during the takeoff takeoff phase guys yes get your makeup done Getting a wig to travel, having an outfit or something. Because see, at that point, your business should be structured. At that point, you should maybe be an S-Corp or maybe a corporation or just a regular LLC or something. But you should be getting paid from your firm. You should have maybe a staff member at that point. You should have policies, procedures, systems, call sheets, call times at that time. Yes, because even when I did my last little photo shoot, guys, we had a little call sheet. Yeah, every time I do my little photo shoot, it's a little call sheet. And every time I do a photo shoot, it costs me more money. So like my first, first, first photo shoot, guys, and I'm going to show this when I'm doing um, some content. It was me. I took that. I took the photo. It was a yellow dress. I'm like this. I was like this. I took the photo. So my first photo shoot was free. I think two years later, I used those photos to make money. Two years later, I think my first photo shoot cost like 800. That was my makeup artist, the photographer, and the location. I think it's like 800. Now. Maybe let's say 1,000. Then my third, no, okay. No, my second photo shoot, how much did I pay Tiana now? I think her package was two grand, okay? That was the second one. My third one was like mm, four grand, I think. Yeah, something like that. My fourth one, uh, maybe seven grand. Seven grand makeup artist, location, photographer, all outfits, everything, photographer, videographer, P 
PR, behind the scenes. Yeah, like seven grand. It's levels to this. But I didn't spend seven grand when my business was making 10 grand. I didn't spend it. I spent zero dollars. When my business was making a hundred thousand, I only spent my photo shoot with like a thousand dollars. When my business, I just started spending five figures on photo shoots or close to five figure on photo shoots when my business was making multiple, 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 multiple six figures. There's levels to this. You have to be able to bootstrap your way to success. And you have to also do that as well, simply because if you don't, the majority of your expenses will be considered not ordinary and not necessary. And as an IRS enrolled agent that has represented hundreds of clients against the IRS, I guarantee you it's no way around the ordinary and necessary thing when it comes down to comparison comparing your revenue to the cost of that expense because immediately if i was auditing you and i'll say oh well mm, your business make five thousand dollars what made you um invest ten thousand dollars into that right then guess what i'm gonna find out what that is and then i'm gonna go research that and say oh well you couldn't invest into this one thousand dollar option you couldn't invest into this three thousand dollar option so guess what? We're going to consider that not ordinary and necessary, but I am going to accept the $3,000 one. So I know you spent $10,000, but for tax purposes, you're only able to write off the $3,000. So guys, this is why I recommend you guys attend my course, Tax Write-Offs for Content Creators, business owners, business owners and influencers, because we're lingering into a new industry, new system, new processes. The IRS don't have no idea what they're doing. And the only reason why I know what I'm doing and knowing what they're going to want is because I've been in the game for over 20 years. I'm a content creator myself and I've represented clients and audits so I can find the distinction and the connections between things. And I've already started my preliminary research in terms of what they're going to compare you guys to. They're going to compare you guys to the in entertainment industry. And there's so many rules and so many regulations regarding that. And then they have to compare you guys to also regular business owners. So I think the IRS is just going to be at their wits end and actually not even going to know what to do with us at, the, at some point. I don't think they're going to know what to do with us with this content creation game. Okay. So guys, if you're interested in into my course, it's still early bird pricing at $97. Head over to the link in my bio. The price will be going up next week to $147. And I think it's going to go up to $197 when we get closer to the course time. Okay. So head over to my link in my um, bio and register for the class. If not, go to bit.ly forward slash. I think it's tax write-off course. I think it's tax write-off course. Okay, guys, so I have to get ready to get out of here. I'm sorry to just drop the show abruptly, but I just realized it's 831 and I'm running late to my speaking engagement. Um, what are some good books? Um, it's no book. The only good book that's out there is my book, which is Audit Proof, 11 Steps to Audit Proof. Here we go. 11 Steps to Audit Proof Your Business. It's no books out there that teaches you this. No book out there. That's why I teach the classes that I teach and I create the classes that I create because there's no course out there. It's no book out there. So go to go to Amazon and type in audit proof and you'll see my book there if you want to know a little bit. But my course is where you want to be at because I'm teaching you guys the full game. The course, the book give you a little bit, but the course give you guys everything. OK. Alrighty, guys. So I will see you guys next week and maybe one day this week going live randomly. Um, but yeah, guys, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in to The Money Zone.